Hello, hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather Corinne, and today we're going to be crocheting this adorable unicorn coffee cozy or mug cozy. I'll post a list of materials and stitches we'll be using in the description box below, as well as a link to my blog post where I've typed this pattern out for you. Let's get started. We're going to begin with white worsted weight yarn by creating a slip knot for our hook. And then we're going to chain 35 chain stitches. This pattern is designed to fit a standard reusable Starbucks coffee mug, but see the blog post for more details on how to adjust this pattern to make it fit the mug of your choice by increasing or decreasing the base chain stitch amount. And so for this one, we're going to chain those 35 chain stitches and for rows 1 through 12, we will single crochet in each stitch across for a total of 34 stitches per row. So here I'm going to start working on row 1 by single crocheting in each stitch across. At the end of each row, we're going to chain one after the last stitch and turn the work around. So now we're moving on to rows two through 12. We'll continue single crocheting in each stitch and I'll meet you back at the end of row 12. That'll be a total of 34 stitches per row. Here we are at the end of row 12. After this last stitch, we're going to chain one and tie off with a long enough tail that we can use it to create our seam at the end of this project. And we'll pull that yarn through that chain one stitch to secure it. And this will be the main base of our coffee cozy. So next we're gonna move on to adding our ears to the top. So we'll join on to the top of the 12th row with row 13. So we're gonna place a slip knot on our hook. And we're going to join to the 11th stitch of this row. So we're going to count over to the 11th stitch in, insert the hook, and we're going to single crochet in the next five stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll chain one and we'll turn the work around. For row 14, we're going to single crochet decrease and then single crochet in the next three stitches. Chain one and turn. For row 15, we're going to single crochet decrease and then single crochet in the next two stitches. Chain one and turn. Row 16, we're gonna single crochet decrease. Single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one and turn. 
and row 17, we're just going to single crochet decrease one time because there's only those two stitches left. Chain one. <clears throat> and then we'll tie off with a relatively short tail and we'll pull through that chain one stitch to secure it. And here is our first ear. For our second ear, we're going to repeat those same rows 13 through 17. So we'll place a, a slip knot on our hook. And we're going to skip four stitches in between where we ended the first ear. So count one, two, three, four. In that fifth one, insert the hook. And we're going to single crochet in the next five stitches. Chain one and turn. Now we'll single crochet decrease and single crochet in the next three stitches. Chain one and turn. Single crochet decrease single crochet in the next two stitches, chain one and turn, single crochet decrease, single crochet in that next stitch, chain one and turn, and last row we'll single crochet decrease, chain one and tie off with a long enough tail to weave in our ends. So now that we have both ears attached, we're gonna take our handy dandy tapestry needle and weave in these loose ends on the ears to just get them out of the way. I'm gonna show you how I do one of them. I like to focus on the one where we joined with that slip knot just to secure that in because it can be a little bit loose. So I like to go down through a stitch and pull that tight and then run the end through maybe three or four stitches in one direction. And then skip one stitch and run it back through those same stitches in the other direction. And then just trim off that loose end and you've successfully hidden that end. So I'm gonna go ahead and weave in the rest of these and I'll meet you back in a second. Moving on to our unicorn horn, we're going to use yellow yarn and create a slip knot for our hook. And we're going to start on the last stitch on the inside of the right ear. So if you're counting from the side where we started the first ear, it's going to be the 15th stitch. And we're going to single crochet. And then single crochet in the next five stitches. So there'll be a total of six yellow stitches. So that's three, four, five. And that sixth stitch will go into that bottom corner where we ended the other, or we began the other ear. So we'll chain one and turn. For row 14, we're going to single crochet decrease. Single crochet in the next four stitches. Chain one and turn. For row 15, we're going to single crochet decrease. And then single crochet in the next three stitches. Chain one and turn. Row 16, we're going to single crochet decrease. 
single crochet in the next two stitches chain one and turn row 17 we're going to single crochet decrease single crochet in that last stitch chain one and turn and row 18 we're going to single crochet decrease chain one and tie off with a long enough tail to weave in our ends So now I'm going to take our tapestry needle and weave in these two yellow ends and we'll move on to creating these adorable little flowers that go underneath the horn. So we'll place a slip knot on our hook and we're going to be chaining eight chain stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna place two single crochet in each stitch across. So that'll be a total of 14 stitches. So that's one and two in that same stitch. And we're just gonna continue working this way all the way down, two single crochet in each stitch. And that sort of creates a, a spiral since we're putting more than will fit into these stitches and they'll start to roll up into an adorable little flower. After the last stitch, we're going to chain one and tie off with a long enough tail to attach it to our project. And see how this created a nice little spiral that rolls down into a flower? To shape the flower, I'm just going to roll it inward from that beginning stitch and sort of hold it in place into the nice flower shape that I'd like. And then we'll take a tapestry needle and string that long tail onto it and just run a couple stitches through the bottom of the flower to secure it in that shape. So this is the bottom side of our flower, just running the needle through each side of it so that it doesn't come unspiraled. So here is our cute little flower and we just need to make two more of them. And then we will attach them underneath the adorable horn using the long tails that we left. So you can decide which order you want to put the flower colors in. But I like to start with the center color just so that everything is nice and centered. And I'm going to use the longer tail and stitch back and forth through sort of like the folds in between the spirals of the flower to secure it down. Mm -hmm. 
If you're enjoying this tutorial, please take a moment and give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Your support allows me to continue creating these free tutorials for you and I really appreciate it so much. Once it's nice and secure, I like to run the shorter tail through the back side in order to tie them together and trim off any of that excess yarn. And so now we will attach the second and third flower in the same exact way we attached the first one and I will catch you back in just a moment. For the adorable unicorn eyes, I just took a string of black yarn and create a little half moon or semicircle shapes underneath the flowers using a tapestry needle. The secret with this is to not pull too tight on the stitches. You want it to lay in a nice curve instead of a zigzag. So keeping it secure, but also not pulling it too super tight. And then I'm just going to tie these loose ends together on the back and trim off any of the excess yarn so that you don't see the black yarn through the back side of the cozy when it is on the mug. For the second eye, you just want to make sure that it's symmetrical by counting the same amount of stitches that you used on the first eye. And that is the secret to creating these adorable little half moon eyes. Isn't she so cute? For our last step, we're going to fold the right side on the inside and create a nice little seam using our tapestry needle and that long white tail. We'll just string it on and stitch back and forth through both of those rough edges lined up next to each other. We do want to pay special attention to the top and the bottom of this seam so that it doesn't pull apart once you slide the cozy over the mug.
Once it's nice and secure, we'll pull that second tail up into the center and double knot both tails together so that we can trim off that excess yarn. And now we can flip it right side out and you can see that seaming it up this way creates a fairly seamless seam and I like to do this much better than working in the round. And our project is now complete. I just love how cute this precious unicorn coffee cozy turned out. I hope you enjoyed creating this with me today. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Tag me in social media if you tried this project. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon with a new fun project.